I'm going to be taking my laptop traveling and I am so going to miss the workstation I have at home where I have a second monitor. If you've ever worked on a computer with a second monitor, you know there's no going back. I want to show you something that Jim and I have just discovered and it's called an Arzopa and it is a second monitor. And look at that, it is so thin and so light and it just has this simple kickstand that will hold it on your desk in a horizontal manner or you can even make it vertical. So let me show you how to connect it and use it. It comes with three cables. One is all I need between my computer and this monitor, just the USB-C to C. It also comes with HDMI. If you use that, you need to use the third cable to get power. So I am all I'm going to do is plug the USB-C into the computer and the other end into the monitor. That's it. Look at that. It comes right up. I don't have anything plugged in. The battery from the computer is giving power to this monitor. But what's wrong? It's showing the exact same thing on both screens. So you know how, you need to know a couple settings on your computer. I want to be able to move things from this screen to this screen. There to be different things on each screen. That's called an extended display whereas this is called a duplicated display. I'm gonna go into my display settings. There are several different ways to get to your display setting. I think the easiest is to just click search, type display, and you will see display settings. You see one dash two, so it already knows that there are two monitors and it is set to duplicate these displays. On a Mac that may be called mirroring, you click the down arrow there and say, I want to extend these displays and then keep changes. Now it will have different things on both display. The last step is you need to make sure that they're positioned correctly. So I want to be able to drag things from this side to that side. Is that cool or what? But if this was on the other side, then I would need to change the display settings so that the number two display is at the left. Don't know which one is one and two? Just click on identify and it tells you that's one and that's two, so no. It needs to be over there and apply. Now with that in place, I can, for example, bring up my website on this screen. I can have photos on the other screen. And if I want to add a photo to this screen, I can just drag it over. So let's say you're on a Zoom meeting. You can have the Zoom meeting going on one screen and then on your other screen, you can be doing your work. Just drag one screen over. Now you have two separate screens to be doing your work and you can just use your mouse to drag items from one screen to the other. I'm Chris with Geeks On Tour.